Yo, what's going on YouTube? Magnify is back with another video. What we're going to do today is a DIY video. Today we are putting together a self-passer. So what I did was I took a couple 2x6s. We chopped them up, uh, screwed them together. We stuck an exercise band around the bottom. I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you how it came out. But the end of the day is going to look something like this. You can take it out on the ice. You can take it to your roller rink, inside your driveway, wherever you know you decide you want to use this thing. It works on both sides, so you can have two people using it at once. I think it's a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid unit. I'll show you how to get this thing done. Once you have the money, and you can level up to the hockey shop product. You're more than welcome to. But let's see how we can get by using the products that we currently have in our house. All right, so one of the first things we did was we cut these little small guys right here, bang and bang. Didn't have to make them too even, but that was just kind of my decision. Took these two inch screws, hammered two of them in each, Four total. What we're going to do is we're going to take now the second top, slap these two together, connectorize them, and then we're going to take our. I used a extra heavy exercise band, slapped it around the legs, called it a day. We're going to test this bad Larry out. So now we got this, it's got a little knot in it. I don't really like that, but it's gonna get the job done because all we gotta do now is slap the extra large band on there, making sure that it is at the bottom. You don't wanna have it overhang too much, but at the same time, you gotta be sure you hit the corners and that puck's gonna hit bounce on back so let's give her a try With any amazing hockey product, you know you gotta turn it black. All right guys, so that was a pretty quick and simple DIY. That's how you make yourself a nice pass system. Uh, in case that you don't have anybody to come around or it's just you by yourself, you wanna practice the one tees, you want to practice passing to yourself you just got to kind of sit there and uh get creative because not a lot of people have the hundred dollars to spend on the hockey shot system and completely understand when you have the money you should definitely think about trying to get one of those but till then you take a couple two by sixes a couple uh two inch nails or screws don't use nails and then you know a nice exercise band i use an extra heavy you might want to think about getting the threaded ones because uh, I noticed after a little bit my rubber one kind of uh, kind of tore 
but that's just because I've been playing with it. I was trying to adjust it to a certain like depth, and the the wood that I was using had a couple knots. So, I, for a temporary system, it's it's a way to go. Get your kids out in the yard, learning some new tricks, learn how to play hockey. All right, guys. If you like the video, make sure you slap that with the thumbs up button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the hockey content and you want to see it on a weekly basis with a couple shorts in between because that's my new thing. I think uh, we're going to be pushing out as much content as we can, at least one video a week. And then moving forward, uh, hopefully we can kind of get the ball rolling on a, uh, more videos, more content. But until next time, guys, my name is Magnify. I'll see you on the next one. You cut me loose and set me free.